Hello and welcome to Conrad Seidel's Beer of the Week. This week's beer is um, a very ordinary. It's the Schweckert uh, Lager, but not the Vienna Lager they brew. It's their, it's their common beer. Uh, I don't think they even put in the bottles. They, they can it. And uh, everyone keeps saying, Conrad, we all know you love the Schwecker the Zwickel, the unfiltered beer, which is a very good Zwickel beer. But how about trying the Schwecher the beer? It says Schwecher the Rechtarter, which means Schwecher, you're right. That works in German much better than it does in English. And uh, well, this is, this is one of the beers that is not very expensive. It's a beer that's very common in Austria, at least where I live. And um, it pours golden with lots and lots of white foam. You can see there's... Uh, this is a big head. And, uh, and the beer, it has this, this wonderful multi aroma. They do a great job on this, but it's it's much underrated because most people say, well, uh, go for the Schwechata Zwickel, go for the Schwechata Vienna Lager. But, well, this is this is the beer uh, that's probably the best selling beer. And it's, it's actually very good because it's one of the beers that has uh, this, this wonderful balance. The balance that I expect from a Austrian lager, Austrian Merzen, which is almost the same. There's hardly any difference in the style between a Helles and a Merz in Austria. Um, and this is, this is like a beer tasted in the old days. When I, when I was young, this is what I expected from a beer. A perfect balance. You have the malt in the nose and there's no hops on the nose. You have this beautiful foam. Look at this. I mean this is this is just marvelous. And you drink from that and you got this this heartiness, this this wonderful malt character and then there's there's just enough bitterness in the aftertaste. Well, it's a very very balanced beer, and uh, well, this is the beers that I would drink when I was young, 40, 45 years ago when I was a young man. This was the kind of beer that I liked a lot. But nowadays, most breweries don't try to find a balance, or if they find a balance, they find it at a much lower level. Many of the mainstream beers have less maltiness and less hop bitterness. Uh, here at the Schweckerda Brewery, which is more or less right behind me, uh, just about four or five miles from here, just behind this, this uh, a little garden and um, the, the woods behind that, that's uh, where the Schwecker Brewery is located. And um, they they brew just good beer. They they don't care for any fancy stuff for the mainstream beer. They do some specialties. But um, this is this is the beer that they that they really sell a lot of and it's I couldn't think of anything they could do better with that. Not even, not even the labeling. Not even the labeling. They have a picture of Anton Dreon, uh, who made this brewery famous in the 19th century. And uh, I think it's, it's just great that they that they keep brewing beer like they brewed it um, 30, 40 years ago when I was young. And I, I really love the beers that I had when I was young. And these are not that spectacular. They're just well-balanced and easy drinking. 
So join me again next week for another Conrad Seidel's Beer of the Week. It might be a more crafty beer, but um, I believe most of the beers you can buy are really good beers. And this is a great example. A good beer from a large brewery, mainstream, but very, very balanced.